Hey guys, so um, today, I, I have not done this before at all, but I am going to do a car review in Forza Horizon 4. Now, I wasn't actually planning to do that, to do to doing this. I wasn't actually even planning to doing this, but I guess I'm doing it. And that car review, I kind of just spoil it there a little. So yeah. This car review is going to be I'm just right now scaling my app so it's like on the thing right here. There you go. So I can actually stop and pause. So yeah, guys. Today I have just, I have just played through this whole thing inside of Top Gear now. And I now have, I now have the level 5, I got the TG Track Tour. Yeah, guys, so today we're going to be doing a little review, my first car review, and it's going to be on the Top Gear Track Tour. Actually, before we fast travel to the new, let's look at the stats. So this is an extreme off-road, 500 horsepower, 430 foot-pounds of torque. It weighs 5,500 pounds. It's kind of a heavy per. So it's kind of a heavy boy. The front is 50%, which means 50% weight distribution. The displacement is 5,735. Not that bad. Oh, and it's worth 250,000 credits. The C class 577 and it's real wheel drive. What was I expecting? Something really cool? Probably not. But yeah, guys, so this is gonna be the run when I first got it. Okay, so this is without upgrades right now. And we're already almost at a hundred miles per hour. We reached a hundred. How's it do off road? That's my question. Okay, not bad. If I just didn't hit the tree, that would be a lot better. Right now I'm just holding the gas pedal. The gas pedal. But yeah, I actually haven't. I actually haven't drove a tractor before. This is my first time driving a tractor in Fort Lesson 4 because this is the first time I get a tractor in Fort Lesson 4. Yes, if you get level 5 on top gear, you get a tractor. But yeah, first I'm actually going to... Now you guys saw what it's... What it is actually... what it is bone stock now I want to see what crazy upgrades we can actually do to this thing 
Because if we can actually get a V10 or V12, I'm sorry for your ears, but I'm going to do it. Just to see max performance. It's probably just going to be an off-road thing. Alright, so, going over the engines, ooh, racing V8, I'm going to get the maximum performance, mmm, look at that, you know this is an off-road extreme car? Yeah, I'm doing it. Because if you're off-road and you have those stats, yeah, right, you're surviving. I like the stock rims. Oh, you can make them so big. But the back... Okay, not bad. Not that bad. I'm going to leave them normal size. Can't change it. Tractors and attractors uh, tires and Okay, so max performance here what I want. I don't know what this does, although I see a little improvement there, so I'll do it. Hold on a sec. Wow, you can't even get this to an S to an S1 class. Well, I tried. It just didn't work. I almost got it to an S1 class. I got that number, but I don't remember anymore. I'm so bad at remembering at remembering things. But yeah, this thing's actually pretty fast. When I upgrade it. Oh, and rear wheel drive is actually fine for a tractor. Oh! I flipped. Oh, but I landed it. That was actually cool. So now this car that is at not at 796 class, it's still real wheel drive. These are the new stats. I'll compare them. I'll put an image of the um, old stats on the screen. Unless I'm too lazy to put that on. Still an extreme off road. But now it has a thousand three hundred horsepower. Holy! It has over a thousand foot pounds of torque now. Now it only weighs five thousand three hundred thirty nine pounds. The weight distribution is still fifty fifty, and the splice the displacement. I don't know if that changed. I can't remember. But yeah. I mean, this thing, I'm going to go ahead and do some off-roading racing, some off-roading races, just to see what the performance is. Mm. Okay. 
three should I do? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put the I'm gonna go ahead and put this one instead. The mud the mud rat the mud kickers for four times four. Okay, yes, so it only has three laps. That's good, because I don't want to have any more of the relapse. Alright, so I will now start this race and yeah. Whoa, okay, everyone has these huge cars. And I'm still I'm the only one with the tractor. I'm the only one with the tractor. F. Oh my god. I can barely move. What? 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 From 12. 12. That's what I meant. I meant 12. Not 12. Or Oh my god, this thing's so slow. But hey, it's a tractor. What else am I expecting? For it to be like super light and fast? Because I'm actually used to being used to having fast cars. So like, okay, I'm trying to get a perfect corner here for some reason it's not cool. Okay, here you go. There you go, that's better. Better than sliding on the wall. Come on. But yeah, as we know, the uh, track tour is not a very good part of racing, I would say. This, this car to race in is a pain. Look at this. It takes a second to actually accelerate. If you hit a wall. Like, bruh, what? Oh, uh, what? Okay. Apparently, walls are bouncy. See that? It took a second to actually start accelerating. Okay, guys, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna do this. Well, guys. That was for your that was your review. Sorry if it's not the way you wanted it. It's, this is just my way so in the so as you guys see in the title. Alright guys. This was a short review of the Top Gear Track Tour. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya. You know what guys, instead of stopping recording there and just start editing for like half an hour, I'm actually going to, a tractor crashes into another tractor. Oof. I'm actually going to show up to Forzathon in this thing. This, I just got a notification that my that my Forzathon's gonna start. Forzathon Live will begin shortly. Good luck. So here's the reactions of people when they see a tractor 
pop up in here. Oh, is there even anyone here yet? Oh yeah, there's two people. Jesus, that bass is loud. Sometimes I actually... Oh. What? Did you hit me or something? I cannot drift in this thing. Oh. <laughs> it's that bad. It's that bad. <laughs> it's that bad. I can't even drift in a rear wheel drive car. Bruh, what? Alright guys, I'm gonna do something real cool. I'm gonna use this thing for the whole challenge. For the whole course of time. Except for the times when there's drift zones. This thing not drift. Unless I'm lazy and I just don't shake. Stand there, just waiting. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, can this thing do the jump? Hey, hey, can't. What's up? Oh, yeah, I can kind of drift there. It's just hard. Why is my PC turning on? If any of us hit the train, that would be cool. 132 and... Okay, well I did a lot with my 132 miles per hour. Like, usually I would do like 200 miles per hour because I have like super fast cars. But I guess the speed on this is just like 2,500 miles per hour. So it's not that bad. Round one oh, complete. Already. Get to round two. All the way over here. Wait a sec. Okay, it's all the way down here, so I'm gonna actually teleport to the speed trap. Well, I can't actually teleport at the speed trap, but I will teleport right in front of the speed trap. I will have to turn around. Okay, never mind, that's the castle. I was like, okay, this is like a 
just like the jump right here. Oh, the castle jump. I don't own this castle because... Yeah, I'm not gonna play the Goliath. I'm not gonna play the Goliath. Three hundred sixty one feet with this. I'm not sure if it was three hundred sixty feet, but I'm I'm sure it was a lot. I have no idea what in the world. I guess this last one is the I bet it's gonna be the speed zone or something. Can't be anything else anyway. I'm just gonna win that bet. Three hundred fifty-six feet. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually doing pretty good with this. Even though this thing is just slow as flip. I have no idea why it's extremely long though. Round two for the fight. Get to round three. Oh, skill area. Yeah, air skill. I did this. I did this one before. So many air skills going through. We're already at 50. Holy. And I just flipped. Man, we're already at 60. Yeah, we're gonna get there in no time. Actually, am completely blind on this track tour. I don't know where it's originally originally from. I don't know. I don't watch Top Gear on YouTube. I I hate. I do have some apps subscribed. It's just that I don't really watch them right now. I watch Air 12 Dreaming and that stuff. Yes, I see you want 200 air scale. How did I land that? I'm literally a 5,000 pound track. How in the world did I? that challenge was. Oh, um, I don't know what that is. But I know I completed the challenge. I saw that. I saw a challenge. I saw something pop up on the bottom, like right after I completed the what is online. I almost got. Wow, I almost got a hundred twenty-five thousand credits. I've been lucky. I I would have even caught that on the phone. But yeah guys, this is the review on the top here. And I'm actually going to end this now. And yeah.
yeah. With that said, I'll see you guys next time in the next video if I go to the tree and die. And I'll see you guys next time.